on the hair. Talk, honey. Got me in the trick bag. Thank you for coming. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. And that Nicole Brown. Since we just got started. Yeah, we're in it. We're in it. You know? Yeah. I was so thrilled that you had to come to me. Chat. Yeah, I've been a fan for a while. I love. I, I That's listen. crazy. Don't say that. No, no, for real. I, I, I love creative people in every. I mean, I go to a grocery store and someone packs my bag well. I'll be like, you better pack that bag. <laughs> Creativity in any way. Like when someone has their lane and they rock their lane. Yeah. And, and I'm so impressed with it. And so that you've made your own thing out of a gift that you have and something that you love to do. Yeah. I'm like, yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, for us, I think sewing sort of just evolved into like mm -hmm. this huge other thing you know yeah. so we see sort of sewing becoming uh you know a bit like hip-hop where yeah. it becomes part of the culture yeah it's something that we can sort of see not as like yeah. what your grandma did so you were born in ohio i cleveland? was cleveland ohio east cleveland okay yeah and what was that like growing up in cleveland was great like ohio well the part of ohio i was in because i found out the other parts of ohio are very racist and crazy i, I thank god i was in no. cleveland where everyone loved each other and everybody was lovely um it was the hood which was good. I think the hood prepares you for life. It does. Um, what I love about Cleveland also is we have winters and we have all the seasons. So growing up, you get to see the leaves change and, and got to have that experience of snow. And I learned to drive in snow, so now I can drive anywhere. Right. Including L.A., where when it rains, they all act crazy. Child. Huh. So it was a nice upbringing. It was, I would have stayed in Cleveland my whole life had it not been for the weather. And uh -oh. that the opportunities, what I wanted to do, right. you can't do there. So of that's course. the only reason I love. Otherwise, the people, everything about it, I just love. So you have a huge resume. Do it. Yeah. Look, look, listen. Ish. Ish. I was scrolling through them and they'd be like, when does it end? I just don't like to say no. I feel like one day they're going to stop asking. So I no. say yes to everything. I'm okay. like Samuel look. Jackson. <laughs> yes. 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 Be there. I'll do it. Listen. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Part of that resume is a lot of voice work, which yes. I don't know, if, I mean, do people know that you're so, I mean, I don't know if they know, I mean, I think there's, I get uh, things on Twitter all the time where someone will say, I was listening to Wabbit, right? it looked like it was you and Bugs Bunny, was that you and right. yeah, it was me. Um, what's great about voiceover is that you don't have to be yourself, like I don't have to be mm -hmm. a black woman. In, right. When I do voiceover, I've been a squirrel, I've been a bird, I've been a, a flying Jacqueline. That's what I do on Elena of mm -hmm. So it's kind of fun. You, you get to go back and be a kid again and kind of um, have fun and yeah. play. And, you know, it's you can go in your pajamas. <laughs> I like to take a shower before I go, but as far as my fashion, they have seen... <laughs> I'm very clean, but they have seen some things. They've seen flip flops and baseball caps and no makeup. And nice. I like the idea that you can just go because it's not about this. Yeah. It's about this. Yeah. So you get to give your best and just use your voice. So I love it. Yeah, I think yeah. it's great. Mm -hmm. And so you started with commercials. I did. You've done a lot of commercials. I've done a lot of commercials. Mm -hmm. I did, I think, 45 national commercials. Wow. Yeah, in my, I think I did it for about, commercials almost exclusively for like the first three years as an actor. Okay. It was all just commercials. And I feel like you learn a lot of commercials. I think they, commercial acting gets, um, doesn't get the respect that it deserves. Mm -hmm. You have to create a character in 30 seconds. Right. You have to sell a product you have to make the the client happy you have to make the brand happy mm -hmm. and you have to just show up and hit the ground running you got eight hours to get this perfect 30 seconds and it's <laughs> you gotta know your stuff to be able to do it so yeah, yeah. so I have a little bit of a secret yes a secret. I really just coerced you to get here yes so I could talk about one thing and one thing only what is this one thing the walking, the walking dead. dead yes that's awesome it's yes. my favorite show isn't it cool? no no listen but it really so is sweet. my favorite show. It's a good show. Listen, yeah. Norris wasn't all that up on, on The Walking Dead. I'm dead. <clears throat> I know, right? Mm -hmm. How is that possible? I don't know. First of all, Walking Dead, if you guys have not watched The Walking Dead, get your life. Okay. And what have you been Find doing? It. Right. But the second thing is, I think people who don't watch, they don't watch because they think it's about zombies. Right. And it's not. Oh, it's, no, no, no. it's about the family you create. It's about, are you a hero or a villain? Because what I love about the show is everyone thinks, like if you were to ask me, if, if everything went to hell, Yvette, who would you be? Well, I'd be a hero. Right. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. I might be a villain. We might be a villain. <laughs> and, the, and you might be a coward. Like you like to think that you, well, I'd be the one protecting everybody. No, you might be the one hiding. Listen, I would be like like the Reverend in the first. Hoarding, Hoarding, Yeah. I would be scared. See what I mean? Hiding behind. 
Right. But you think, but but it's honest. It's great that you would admit that because most people would think that they'd be the, the rock star. What I love about the show is the person you think is going to be horrible yes. is actually great. Yeah. The person that you think is going to be great might end up being horrible. Yeah. And it makes you look at your life and go, well, who would I be if somebody needed me? Who would I be if it was life or death? What kind of person would I be? And then again, it's the family you create, which yeah. I think as someone that, as a transplant from Ohio coming here, mm -hmm. um, I've made a family out here. You've made a family out here. So it's not just about your blood. It's about the people you choose to walk through life with, which I think is really a great lesson. So yeah, no, I, I, I watched it from the very beginning. Yeah. So really what I, what I brought you here is mm -hmm. um, to say that I need you yeah. to figure out a way <laughs> to get me on the Talking Dead couch. To be on the Talking Dead couch. Listen, this I want to sit behind you. Tell, you. tell us why. You know what I'm saying? Tell us. Tell the camera, this is your audition, tell the camera and Chris Hardwick and the producers of Chris Talking Hardwick, Dead listen. why you should be on the Talking Dead. Go. First of all, I'm awesome. Don't you see this energy? <laughs> Don't you see this going on right now? Seriously. <laughs> This show is amazing. Yeah. You, you know what I what I really loved is because I started watching it from the very beginning. Yes. I wasn't you sort of weren't sure what the show what was going to be. You know what I'm right. saying? And but you so quickly get invested into those characters. Like yeah. Rick for me is like if the world were to end, I yeah. want to be with Daryl actually. Of course. Don't Norman. Be all. Norman, listen. Norman. Norman. You are my absolute favorite character. Yes. Like yes. I, if something ever happens to Norman, nothing can ever happen. Nothing Look, can we're ever all gonna happen. riot. We know we're gonna riot. It will be the end of uh -huh. everything. Uh -huh. Like uh -huh. you know, hundred percent. And I think for Rick, he has had such devastation, mm -hmm. and he has already gone through so so many different emotional breakdowns mm -hmm. in the show. Yeah, that I don't know that he can handle losing Carl. Losing Carl, because we already know that uh, Jude's not his. Right. Thank you. Mm. Hello. Thank you for saying that. Hello. Hey there. That baby Shane. That, 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 that baby Shane's Shane. baby. Let me tell you. Shane's every baby. time I see Shane on another show, I'll be like, Shane, what, what you doing? Did you check on your baby? You check on your baby. You said that child before check. <laughs> <laughs> How did the, I want to be an actress, so I'm about to leave Cleveland and come to LA and just figure it out. I actually moved to LA to be a singer. I was in the East Coast family. And this is, I, I tell this story so many times, I'm not even like embarrassed to tell it anymore. But I was in the East Coast family when I was younger, Michael Bivens' group, and um, was discovered a little bit after he discovered Boys to Men. So I was like, oh, I'm going to be a singer. I'm gonna move oh, wait, wait, that was a really great time with the new edition. It was, exactly. It was all yeah. uh, like a full circle okay. moment. The music industry had taken like a little bit of a turn mm -hmm. where it was like, throw me against the wall, flip me up. And I was like, well, I can't oh, sing yeah. about being flipped upside <laughs> down. Where are we? Is it, is it sanitary in here? Like, it was just so many things that I could not sing. Right. And it was before <laughs> Jill Scott, and it was before Indy Ari, and before there was any type of conscious, it, it just was a shift for a minute to something right. that I just couldn't do. So I said, well, maybe I'll just try acting and see how that works out. And I ended up finding a lane for me that worked out. And I did the commercials, and it went to did episode, a couple episodes of Girlfriends, and then it just kind of took off from there. Yeah. I'm already so beyond anything I ever dreamed of that I'm like, it's all gravy. It's all icing on a really delicious cake at this point. I'm so grateful. And I hope that anybody that meets me or um, engages me on social media, I hope they feel that I'm just a regular person that just happened to luck up. You know, there's yeah. there's this misconception that because someone's an entertainer or a singer or whatever, that they're special. And I always say either we're all special or none of us are. Right. You know, I know that you're an advocate. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, for me, I'm I'm a survivor of sexual abuse mm -hmm. um, as a child, mm -hmm. and then physical abuse, um, domestic violence yes. uh, during several times of yeah. in my life. Um, so when the Me Too movement came mm -hmm. out, Times Up, it, you know, it sort of hit home. Yeah, and it was really empowering to see mm -hmm. sort of all the women come together yeah. and take a stand. And I yeah. know that you were just at the Women's March. I was. What was that like? It was so great. I I, I marched last year, and this year I spoke. All my nervousness just dissipated mm -hmm. and it was like all right let me tell the people what god wants them to know and i i hope that's what i did you know that it landed where it was supposed to land and i still got to introduce tony goldman which was great so when i started the blog it was sort of just a hobby it was fun mm -hmm. i needed something to do mm -hmm. and then i started to get emails from women all over the world sharing amazing stories mm -hmm. and you know hardships yeah i've had you know i've been thinking of committing suicide wow. 
I, you know, my husband is divorcing me, mm -hmm. I have nowhere to live, mm -hmm. but, you know, and it all ended with, but I came across your blog and there was something about your page that sort of jumped out, yeah. or, or I learned a new hobby, yeah. or I'm sewing and it's sort of helping me, yeah. and then I realized that it wasn't so much about the fashion and just teaching people to sew, but it was really giving them um, a chance to feel inspired and, and also uh, And also a release. Mm -hmm. And now we take it very seriously. Yeah. And now it's... And not just you're learning to sew, but it's really giving you, you know, a mm -hmm. place, a safe place to come mm -hmm. and and let go and share, which is another reason why I'm so careful about the energy that is mm -hmm. around. So tell me this, can you, uh, if you have an event, like say someone calls and says, Mimi, can you come to the opening or whatever? Mm -hmm. Do you go, let's look those something together right quick and just get some fabric and make something? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How long would it take you to craft a red carpet look? For yourself like say a skirt and like a jacket for the night how well, long did you see the metallic evening gown yes. I, just made? I did that in like four and a half hours four hours yeah so do you keep a stockpile of fabric or do you go because you live in the area where you could go right to get the fabric no but i have a huge stash is it here oh it no it's that it look we had the stash no, the stash is at home actually the stash is at home it's on instagram i That's started it. to bring some fabric because i have I, I go and i i don't come down here often enough because like, i get lost when i come downtown mm -hmm. but i'll go to like joanne's and i'll buy like a whole bunch of stuff and then i forget the thing i wanted to make i do that so all i just i stack like what was this what just that what was this the skirt it's so especially because like when something new comes up we're like oh like we got invited to his friends wedding which yeah. is why we made the outfit yeah and of course it was like oh it's not like we think oh let's go in the closet and right. see what we have it's like let's make what are we gonna make you know that. so i know how to put in a zipper i know how to um do a seam and a hem that kind of stuff mm -hmm. uh but when it comes to like sleeves <laughs> collars <laughs> buttonholes <laughs> your girl's out maybe okay. i can do a dart Okay. I can maybe do a dart, um, but yeah, anything that requires some type of structure or actually following a pattern, <laughs> a real pattern. Girl, I'm gonna enroll you in the sewing academy. Yeah, I might, need, I might need to enroll. I, I do want to learn. You got all these wonderful baby lock machines. <laughs> baby lock. <laughs> I'm not even getting paid. I don't know why I'm plugging it out. Baby lock. Baby lock. Baby lock. Baby baby lock. lock. Holla at your girl. Holla at your girl, baby lock. Whatever. I'm a Nobody sends me anything. You hook me up with talking dad. Super easy clutch. Okay, I'm Super sorry. Super easy clutch. No zippers, no buttons. Okay. Total beginner project. Okay. So if anybody's interested in it, so. This is the one. This is the one. Okay. You know, but you already know how to do all this. I do okay. I do okay. Yeah. So how long is our fabric, Mimi? So we've cut a piece of fabric that is 18 inches by 11. Okay. Okay. And I've interfaced it, right? So I've used some fusible interfacing. To, you iron it on? Yeah, you just iron it on to sort of create a little more stable fabric. Okay. Give it a little weight so you don't have a floppy clutch. You don't want no floppy clutch. I just burped because I had a protein <laughs> bar in between. And I like to share when I have gastrointestinal issues. And I burped. <laughs> so in case you saw me go, I well, want you to know what happened. So I'm glad it came out happened. that end. Not the better end. Better up than down. <laughs> better up than in, better up than down. Those are Cleveland proverbs. That's my mom's. Okay, I'm done. All right, all right. So, okay, so interface. <laughs> interface it to create a little, a a little, little stability, a little weight. Yes, a little weight. All right. And and that's all you need. Okay. A sewing machine is some thread. I'm right? ready. So okay. let's do this. So you're going to fold it so that the right sides are facing, right? The, mm -hmm. the fabric that the people are going to see. And you're going to fold it in half like this. Mm -hmm. Right? Super easy. It's going to be on your, on, under the um, video so people can know how to do it. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> it should be. I, I'm gonna make this in dinner. <laughs> this will be very or nice camouflage. Dinner. Cam See how I knew you was gonna say I some love camouflage. camouflage. I love it so much. See? Okay. So are you We're gonna send me loose in this? Yeah. So what you're gonna do? Am I going to the baby lock machine? Yeah. So you know we have several baby lock machines. I'll let your girl right? baby lock. We got several. I'll let your girl in house baby lock machines. <laughs> Thank you, baby lock. Thank you, baby lock. 
So, you in know, advance. depending on your comfort level. Do you in advance? No. Thank you in advance. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I got all, right, okay, all right, all right, all right. So we're going to call you next okay, week. Let's go. Christine Holla. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's go. So, depending on your comfort level, mm -hmm. you can sew on, you know, the Baby Lock Mercedes Benz, mm -hmm. or you could do the Baby Lock Rolls Royce. I think I should probably do the, the Rolls Royce. No, perfect. Rolls okay. Royce? Okay. <laughs> let's do it. I don't know much about cars. I think that's a nice car. Okay, let's go. Home. So, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start here mm -hmm. at one end, right? This is the folded edge. Okay. And you're going to sew in okay. a straight line using a half inch seam allowance. Okay. We'll open a pivot, sew across the top. So we don't stop, we just pivot. Yeah, we just pivot. I'm gonna pivot, mm -hmm. sew here, pivot mm -hmm. again. We're gonna sew till about four or five inches before we get the end, mm -hmm. we get, get to the end. You're gonna back stitch mm -hmm. to secure it, and then we're gonna leave an opening. So we're gonna skip about two inches, because we need to turn this right side out. Got it. Okay? Then you're gonna sew, back stitch, and that's pretty much the bulk of this clutch. Good luck, everybody. You ready? Good luck. Yes, I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, so we're working on the Baby Lock Crescendo, okay? Mm -hmm. Baby, <laughs> yes. And this is a really great machine. It's super easy. It has a speed control, right? So in case you like, you know, so this is you want to go on baby steps. Go baby you steps. go turtle, okay? Go turtle. And then this is like, what's super the other nice. one? The the rabbit? The, the, the hair. hair. The hair. The tortoise in the hair. No, this tortoise. This is the air. And there's some in the middle. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. You're going to do tortoise. I mean, you, you could do middle. middle. You okay. Could do middle. All right. Okay. So this has a knee lift. Okay. So to lift the presser foot, you just, with your little knee, just go like this. Oh, push it hey, over. Okay. There you go. And then you let it down. Is that about half inch right here? So half inch mark is going to be this very first line here. Okay, so okay. line that up there. And, mm -hmm. then, and then just move your knee. There you go. Nicely done, baby lock. Here's your reverse. So you're going to go in reverse here. So you always go in reverse in the beginning and at the end. So, so, your stitches. Mm -hmm. so start to sew a little bit, like a couple you know, stitches. I think I need the hair. <laughs> I mean the tortoise. Let's go tortoise. Okay. And then back it up. And then back it up. Hey. Yeah, I, yeah, I could do the middle. I think it's a little. Okay, it's a little slow, right? <laughs> it's a little slow. Okay, so right. are we going? Yep, you're just going to keep going in a straight line, as straight as you can go. Oh, you got this, girl. You got yeah. this. Okay, you see, you see, you're picking up speed right now. You're listen, don't you need listen. Okay? I'm going to go and make this do what it do. We ain't got all day. I got to pivot a little later. I got to make sure. I'm just very, keep that straight line. Just keep it straight line. I don't know if y'all are impressed with me right now. <laughs> I'm very impressed. I'm pretty, see, guys, separate. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Stay with me. Stay with me, fabric. Roll tide. You got it. We're doing like five eighths of an inch single lines, but that's all right. That's oh, all right. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We good. We good. We good. It's good. It's fine. <laughs> it's going to look the same on the outside. It's going to look the same, same, same on the outside. outside. Right. Okay. <laughs> Now, now you make me nervous. No, you good. You good. Now, do I back stitch here? No, you're going to stop about half inch before the end. You're going to pivot. Okay. okay, right here. A little bit more. Right there. Stop. Okay. Lift your presser foot with your knee. There you go. Turn your fabric. Oh, that's a pivot. Hey, hey baby. Pivot. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. Okay. Now, now, go to the end. Now, you're going to go to the end. Ridiculously bad sewing job that's ever been done in this studio. This is good. See that right now. They do it better than this usually. <laughs> that's a good control right there. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, this is, look this at you. is a Rolls look Royce. Let you. me tell you. Listen, right? I don't work for Baby Life, but I gotta say, <laughs> this here like machine this is a smooth <laughs> functioning machine. All right. All right. That's real good. Now, now you're going to use this little button right here to cut your thread. I'm going to cut the thread. All right. Lift that press. Did it, it, cut it? it? Just cut it. Just cut it. Ooh. See? Wait. Now, what I do now? Now, you're just going to move that about an inch or two. Yeah, there you go. And then you're just going to back stitch again and finish it off. I'll go first forward a little bit first. Uh-huh. There you go. And then go all the way down. Mm-hmm. And then back stitch at the end. All right. Listen, this has been great. Right here? Yeah. All the way to the end. There you go. Perfect. Cut. Cut thread. Girl, we almost halfway through. This machine is lovely. I mean, it's, it's here. There you go. All right, so we're going to clip into these corners. And why? Okay. Why the corner? We're going to remove this bulk. Okay, right? so you turn over. You turn over on the bulky corners, okay? okay? So you're just going to trim across like this. Oh, well, that's easy. And then I just remove a little bit and a little bit. Right? Okay. 
Right, don't cut yourself with this thing because oh, I, that's pretty I sharp. ain't have you sign no waiver. You sure did. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go. go. There we go. There we go. So we don't need to cut these edges? No, those okay. you're good there. So I just do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, if I left enough space, did I leave enough space to get it all in? You get it in there. Yeah, did I? Did I? Did I? Oh, look at my cute clutch on me! Wow, how'd you feel? Okay. All right, so this is the clutch. Mm -hmm. So you just go poke out them corners. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to give this a little press. Um, what did you do? Oh, it's, it's touch sensitive. Oh, Lisa? Thank you, Oliso. Thank you, Oliso. Holla at your girl. All right. Hey. Come on now. Let me just do that again. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we got it. Is that good? We got it. Fold this over, and you're going to stitch down on the sides. And that's it. You trust and then you me with that? And then we're done. Trust me with that. I'm going to backstitch it. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. You ready? Who's it? Put your head on the hair. It's all funny. Got me in the trick bag. <laughs> I think I'm doing real well. You're doing great. Touch your thread. Okay. Uh, here. Mm -hmm. Hey, ah. Now we're going to just give it one last press and you practically done, girl. I'm almost yes. my Look cute at you. clutch. Okay, so I had to get a <laughs> manicure. So I'm going to show my beautiful clutch that I made like this. Like this. Isn't that a little fold over? It's nice. You just press it and then fold it. And then, you, and then you can also add doodads. You, you can, can add, add some, some flair, some embellishments. Mm -hmm. No, it's good. You can embellish. You can add some um, appliques. Some flair. I have, I have a nice rhinestone. Yeah. Like a rhinestone I have an, in, an introvert badge. I'm going to iron that on here. There you go. Right. See? I'm an introvert. Super easy, super fast, right? Yeah, I love it. You can make it out of just about anything. Yeah, you really can. I'm going to make one out of denim and camouflage. When you see me with this everywhere, no. That it's the Mimi G clutch. Hey, like I just wish I had the baby lock uh, crescendo. Baby lock, baby lock. <laughs> it is a great machine. I'm not just saying that because I hope they send me one. It, it is a great machine. It, it, was, it really it. is. Okay. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. Thank you, honey. Thank so much you. Fun. I did too. And I hope you're inspired to sew and to uh, you know follow your dreams. Follow your dreams. My Do dream was to make a clutch. So glad I made that come true for you. Got it. Until next time. <laughs>When it comes to sewing, there is always one question both beginners and experts seem to ask. How'd you do that? It's why Mimi created Sew It Academy. At Sew It Academy, you won't just learn the basics of sewing, you will also be inspired in ways you never thought possible to turn ideas into garments that you can wear anywhere. And the best thing, Sew It Academy is taught online where you can learn at your own pace. Hey, we all ask the question. Now Sew It Academy gives you the answer.